Hey everyone, what's up? Playing one more game. Feeling good. I finally won a few games in a row. So I feel better about life. I hate this stupid opening. Knight b3, I guess. I play some bishop b5 crap, but what is this move? Is this what they usually do? It's not, right? So what should I do? He wants to go bishop a6, I guess. Aggressive. Uh, that's crazy, right? Ah, what the hell? It's just a blitz game. See here, if he's gonna do all this queenside stuff, I'll set up for a queen, uh, kingside attack. It's kind of weird though. Emir, this is 12. What does it mean by a few games in a row? I mean, I won two games in a row, so I have like a little winning streak of two. Guy, this guy's thinking a lot. Ensatsu. Okay, this is the point of my plan was that I would gain a tempo by not moving that bishop. I think I'm just going to castle now. Keep that rook on a6 for the meantime because maybe he'll fall to some weird double attack. Uh, if h5, probably h6, and it's not so easy to break through. C3 is always going to be useful. The other possibility, though, is some kind of C4, like Queen E2 and C4. You gotta do that. You can take the H pawn. I just realized I don't care. Take my H pawn if you want. It seems like I feel like if he takes it, uh, something bad happens. He'll probably play. Oh, did I have D5 last move? No. No, I did not. All right, so he wants to get the D5 square. I'm just going to get it. Alright, I'll just defend this. And I'm going to reroute my knight to get the e4 square. In the meantime, though, he's going to go c5 and, and get some development. Edge. My knight on b3 is not where it wants to be, is basically the idea. I should have played bishop... Oh, wow, what is that move? It's kind of a weird move, but he wants to go queen to d5, I think. Alright, I give up. If he goes queen d5, I'll let him. Somehow it looks odd, but probably it's okay. Rook c1 or no? Okay. Attack a c-pawn. That's weird. It's just a weird move. I guess rook to d1? Everything very confusing to me. I want to take with the knight, because the h7 square is now tender in some, some variations. He can always go queen d5 though. Oh, he doesn't. He goes, so now knight e4 looks normal. Okay. Queen e2 somehow feels good. Just shift over to the king side a little bit. And completely ignore the a pawn. I mean, obviously, I didn't see it, but whatever. <laughs> uh, I'll go rook c3 or no? Probably no. Maybe queen f3. So I'm down a pawn, but, you know, I can try to attack him. I, 
feel like I should just play more normally this game. Sometimes I get carried away. And I think this is one of those times. Let's play this, though. Creates knight f6 threats and d5 ideas. I don't, I don't know if they work, but it's an idea he has to think about. He'll probably go king h8. And now i got to figure out how to just put my knight somewhere that doesn't suck. It's not so easy, unfortunately. Um, if knight c3, he can go as knight to d5. Knight d2, he can actually take on d4, if I'm not mistaken. Does knight c4 trap his queen there? It does. That's a little tricky. Oh, but then he has rook knight to d3. Maybe I have a good move there. Queen f3. Rook d8. I'm just going to do it. I don't even know that it works, but... <laughs> I only live... Oh, knight... No. I'm just gambling. A rook c3 after knight d3. The knight takes e5. Rook d4, knight g4. I don't know. No, right, he didn't take it. Due to fear. I gotta move fast, man. This seems okay. I'll take with the pawn and get an open f file or something. In some variations. Wow. Ah, uh, really? Okay. Really? This looks like fun, at least. Uh, because you can't take some pins. Something, he messed up a little bit, I think. The rook f8 looks interesting, but I'll go pawn takes pawn. Wow. Uh, so passive. Maybe it's okay, though. Can't find anything real good here. Just play random move. <laughs> See what he does. Oh wow. Okay, I messed up. Nice C4 though to E5 is a really annoying idea. Idea is knight e5 and knight f7. Right, he's going to allow me to do it, it looks like. So now I'm off the exchange. He's compensation, definitely. Rook c6. I shouldn't have spent all that time there. Rook c6, queen b4 is too scary. Greg, no more thinking, move fast. The end. The end of my story. I won't move too fast though, because then he'll know I'm blitzing him. I'm gonna move like one second to move. Don't want him to be too obvious. That was probably not good trading queens. Paralyzed, man. Rook stuck. Whoa, whoa, we need that. Thank you. And his rook still stuck. And it's still stuck. Yay! I win again. Alright, three wins in a row to end the evening, including one against a high rated person. I can live with that. I can go to bed happy. Thanks everyone for watching. See you tomorrow.